Welcome to Webstyle Plus. Do you want to use Llama AI from Meta but in your own application for free? Do you want to create your own apps with Meta Llama AI for free? In this video, we will guide you through how can you do that using Meta Llama API for free. API is application programming interface. This is how it works. You get the API key from provider, hit a provided URL with your request. It will respond back with the data that you requested. You use that data in your application. Simple. APIs cost, but we have a way to use free API. This is Meta AI from Meta. Meta.ai. It is using Llama AI behind the scenes. Llama is a series of large language models developed by Meta AI. These models are designed for natural language processing tasks, including text generation and coding assistance. Llama's open source nature allows developers to customize and fine tune the models for specific applications without sharing data with Meta. This approach democratizes access to advanced AI technology, fostering innovation across various industries. The development of Llama reflects Meta's strategic shift towards artificial intelligence, enhancing its position in the AI industry and contributing to advancements in AI research and applications. It's a leading AI that we can expect to grow a lot. We can use this AI from this interface for free, but our goal is to use their AI in our own application or website. So to do that, search open router. It will take you to this website, openrouter.ai. It provides API key for free. Create free account with them and then generate a free API key by going to this page. Here I've got the API key that is unlimited and it's free. You can also create API key by clicking this button. Then go to models. I will use this key that I have created here and then I will delete this after this tutorial. So don't use this key, get yourself a new key. After you get the key on this site, search Llama. You can search it here or we can search it here as well llama and then select pricing low to high from filter here it is meta llama 3.3 70 b instruct 3. let's choose llama 3.3 so we got this one this is free meta llama 3.3 70 b instruct click here and then click API TypeScript and this is the method that we can use. This is the model name that I'm copying from here, exact name. And here we have to use API key. We will need API key from Open Router from here. This API key is from Open Router, not from Meta. Open Router is allowing us to use other services through it via a free API key. I hope it makes sense. Okay, so this is the code that we have to use. I have already created an application where I used JavaScript to implement this. I will link the full tutorial to build this little app in description. Here I will just explain it's working and modify it to our need. I used Bootstrap for a little bit of styling. And this is marked CDN. Usually we get markdown based response from these services. So I used marked library to convert response into HTML. In CSS style, I'm modifying response for better look and feel. In HTML, I have got input field. I've got a button with on click handler that will trigger this function called send message. Then we've got this response div. So we will inject the response from API in this div. On click of this button, this function will be triggered. This is async function. And here we have got input and response div to use in the script. If input will be empty, we will throw an error. Otherwise, we will show loading text in response div. And this loading text will be replaced when the real response arrive from API. So here is that try catch block. Catch will catch the error in the try. This is the whole thing. And it is similar, that is this one. This is our API key. And here we have to change the model name. And the messages, role user, content input. This is the input that we are typing in this input. And this is the data from response. response.json, console log data, 
in case we need to dig deep into the data and then here from data we are extracting content data dot choices dot message dot content and this question period is optional chaining operator in javascript it allows you to safely access deeply nested properties of an object without causing an error if any part of the chain is null or undefined and here we are converting response from markdown to html and then we are inserting it into response div we're updating response div content with this data and this is the whole app we had to just use this thing we have to hit this api with the api key and model name very simple so here is the chatbot let's test it what is the difference between javascript and java ask this is the console and it works javascript and java are two distinct program languages that are often confused with each other due to their similar names here are the main differences origins syntax platform detailed answer let's do this wordpress or shopify which one is better content this is marked down based response okay so both wordpress and shopify are popular platforms used for building websites but this have different purposes okay so wordpress for shopify which one is better so a good response i would say better than quinn so it works this is the second response So we are receiving data from Llama AI for free by using free API key from Open Router. We can create chatbots and AI applications by using this technique. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.